Installing Cubase 5 on your Mac is a fairly straightforward process, and so I'm not going to go over a lot of detail on that. However, one of the aspects of Cubase that you may not have had any experience with is this little item that came in your Cubase 5 box. This is called the Steinberg Key, but I'm going to refer to it as the more traditional name, which is a dongle. Now, the dongle is a hardware copy protection device that must be installed on your Macintosh into a USB port before you can launch Cubase. And the best way to think about this little dongle is that it is the keys to the car. In other words, just like you can't start your car without the keys, you cannot start Cubase 5 without the dongle being put into a USB port on your computer before you launch Cubase 5. It's also very important to point out that you do not want to lose this dongle. If you lose the dongle, there's every likelihood that you will have to repurchase Cubase 5, and you don't want to do that. There's also an important thing to do for registration, and we'll go over that in a different chapter, but the rule of thumb here is do not lose your dongle. The dongle is not to be confused with a USB flash drive. It doesn't have any memory on it, so you can't transfer files to and from. What the dongle does have on it is a copy protection code. And if you purchased Cubase 5 without the upgrade, in other words, if you bought it for the first time, the code is going to be installed on it already. However, if you purchased an upgrade from a previous version of Cubase 5, then you'll have to download the code onto the key that you already have. So make sure Cubase 5 is installed and make sure that the dongle is inserted into a USB port on your Macintosh. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to download your license code onto a dongle that you already have if you have an upgrade. Uh, it's also important to go to this website, elicenser.net, and occasionally download the most current software for the dongle. For example, I'm going to go down here and it looks like the most current version is this version. And so I'm, you can download the ELC for Macintosh right here. That's an installer. Go ahead and install that on your computer. So once you've installed the eLicenser software, you can then go to your applications folder and find the program called License Control Center and launch that program. Now, with your dongle installed on the Macintosh, it's going to find it. But you'll notice that on this particular dongle, I don't have a license for Cubase 5. So I'm going to need to download the license. Now, inside the Cubase 5 box, you should have found a slip that has a 32-digit activation code on it. It's just a single slip of paper, and at the top it says, Your License. And we're going to use that 32-digit code to download a license onto the dongle. So I'm going to select the dongle and I'm going to enter the activation code. You have to be connected to the internet to do this. So I'm going to type in that code. So I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to select the dongle that I want to transfer the license to and hit upgrade license. Okay, so the license upgrade was successful, and I can hit close, and now if I look at that dongle, hey, guess what? Cubase 5 is all set to go on that dongle. And now that we have a Cubase 5 license installed on our dongle, we're able to launch Cubase. But before we launch Cubase for the first time, I'm going to show you how to add a shortcut for Cubase 5 onto your dock, and that will happen in our next video.